Hello everyone, welcome back to Ophthalmology on the go. Today we are going to see how to determine the cup disc ratio of a given optic disc. Right? So when we say the cup disc ratio, it is the ratio between the cupping that we see in the optic disc to the size of the disc. Right? So they can be inherently large discs or small discs which we will be able to assess as and when we see more of uh, the discs that are there, tilted discs, all of these variations of the disc. But today we are going to keep it very simple to analyze a cup disc ratio, how to figure out. So this was one mistake that I had committed during the first year of my residency, which was assessing this yellow part of the uh, optic disc as the cup and then figuring out the cup disc ratio. But that is wrong. That is the wrong way to figure out the cup disc ratio. The correct way is to look for the bend in the vessels. There are vessels which are originating from the center of the disc and going out. Right? So we can see that these are all the vessels that are going out. Now we'll assess each one of these vessels and see where are they bending. So the most uh, prominent bend that we see is in this vessel. Right? This one. Um, is in this one which is above okay so it starts here and there is a bend and then out so this is one bend the vessel beside it it bends here the vessel next was pretty much straight right the vessel here pretty much straight the vessel here there is a bend the vessels here are just coming out from this area. So we are assuming that there is a cupping here. There is a depression here. So when we join all these points of bends in the vessel, we come up with the actual cup of this disc. So the blue color circle that I have drawn is the actual cup size. And the black circle that I am drawing is the disc size. So with that, what do we see as the cup disc ratio? In this case, it is around 0.8 or even close to 0.9 maybe, right? So that is the actual cup disc ratio. So don't be fooled by just looking at the yellowish part of the optic disc and saying that it is the cup. Look at where the vessels have started to bend. Now coming to this, what do you think is the cup disc ratio of this disc? If you again look at it and analyze the yellow part of it, then according to that, we'll find that this is maybe the cup of the disc. And according to that, we can come up with a CDR of around maybe 0.5 or 0.6, right? But when we assess it the right way, that is according to the bend of the vessels that we are seeing, then we have a different scenario. Let's see. So we have a vessel arising here bending outwards somewhere here we have another vessel here not really bending anywhere another vessel here going out straight we have a vessel here bending at this point we have a vessel here which is going along the uh, slope of the cup and bending right here we have this vessel which has bent right here. We have a few vessels here that have bent out like this. Vessel here which has bent like this. This major vessel that has... This major vessel which has bent like this. Like this. This one. So when we join all these bends, It actually comes up to a CDR of 0.85, uh, 0.85, right? So there is a significant difference between 0.6 CDR and a 0.8 CDR. And the actual CDR for this disc is 0.8. If you have a doubt, go ahead and look at the disc again and analyze it for yourself. Pause the video and look at it, right? And that is it for today's video. I hope this helped you all and see you again in another video. Make sure you like, subscribe and put a comment down below if you have any questions to ask. I'll be very happy to answer them.
bye bye